What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and YouTube? I'm Freddy Fuego, Flaming Hot Entertainment, MultiplatGameTrap.com, the people's voice and your favorite average gamer. I'm just going to be doing this video. This video is going to touch on things that Broken Games HD last video was on. So hopefully I make it, a, a, this will be a part of a video response to that video. But this is going to elaborate and touch up on a lot of sub, a lot of things that I wanted to vent on and tell developers how they ruin their own games. And we're not talking about the, the story modes or anything like that. We're talking about the competitive multiplayer on uh, a lot of games. Naughty Dog put out a new patch and it had a whole bunch of new content and stuff like that and just basically ruined the game. Um, if you don't have any skills, go play this game. It caters to the people that doesn't have any skills. People that have just know how to use all these little perks and stuff like that just to do silly shit. I mean, <laughs> it's beyond words for me. I, I just think that this day and age, when it comes to multiplayer, competitive multiplayer online, um, first of all, a lot of companies like DICE took to the last patch that they put out to fix the game in, in its entirety, how it should have came out on launch. Um, I love Battlefield games because of the teamwork aspect and the objective-based gameplay um, when it comes online. And same thing with um, uh, games like Ghost Recon, Future Soldier. Um, and another, that's another game that has tons of connection issues even now. And there's not even 20,000 people playing online for all platforms put together. So telling me that uh oh there, you know stability issues or whatever uh i get booted off games a lot and it's just you know i'm saying uh, i'm not even going to be posting that many gameplays up of it i probably got like 20 or 30 uh more games that i've actually recorded already and gonna render or video or, um or maybe make them to montages or something like that but that game to me for online is pretty much um almost had it it's 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 pretty much on its last leg um now, when it comes to just multiplayer in general, the crybabies that are in the forums that just cry about the most simplest, stupidest, retardedest shit ever, you know, I don't know who these people that um, test these patches are, these quality control motherfuckers that test these patches before they come out and say they're good. Um, these motherfuckers need to be slapped the fuck down, fired, and... and uh, put a mark on their, you know what I'm saying, their name saying, hey, never hire this motherfucker ever again for any of the gaming industry, uh, you've been warned, um, and, and Naughty Dog's multiplayer department, their, their multiplayer, their online multiplayer division or department or whatever that works on this, y'all dudes are just straight dumb as fuck, letting these non-skill, non-aiming fucking poof vanishing uh, uh, booster attic ass non-skill motherfuckers that just get on the game and just use no skill whatsoever to play the game. Um, a lot of games nowadays, if you have skill, they basically, how would you, they hamper your, your gameplay. They hamper your game because they don't, for you having skills, they punish you. And for the people that don't have skills, they they give them extra shit. And they make them beat you. Basically, they give you they give them all the mechanics in the world to help them beat you because they are garbage at the fucking game and should play more diligently at it and work harder to getting their skills up than just how would you say, than just uh, having mechanics in the game that just help the motherfuckers. You know, if you're garbage at a game, play the game constantly. Put in some hours. Learn how the whole game works. All right, now, a thing that I have with Battlefield 3, every time they put out a patch, they're about to put out another patch that's going to nerf a whole bunch of guns. Um, every time they put out a patch, it's like I turn on the game, the patch is installed, you know, I install the patch, and... And then all of a sudden, I'm playing a brand new fucking game. I just invested six fucking months into this game. Why the fuck are you changing the game totally, completely? 
you know, why the fuck are you changing the mechanics? I understand tweaking certain shit, but the last patch that fucking Battlefield had was just like a, a overhaul of the whole fucking game. Why release a game and then overhaul it fucking seven, eight months into its fucking lifespan where motherfuckers are playing the shit and fucking, you know, we got accustomed to every all your bullshit and then all of a sudden just re-engineer the whole fucking game's mechanics or re-engineer the whole, the whole gun mechanics or, or and shit like that. I understand certain guns are superly overpowered, but certain guns... I, I, you know, it's like if you were to get them on, you know, in real life, you would fucking, you would, they worked almost the same way as they did in real life. So now they're making them unrealistic and unlike the counterparts of real life guns that they have. And it's just like fucking whatever, you know, you have so many fucking guns in that game. There is a fucking gun to counter almost every gun on there. Or there is a play style to counter another person's gun addiction. You know what I'm saying? Or there's teamwork to overcome obstacles and hurdles in these fucking games. And yet, they keep patching these motherfuckers and dumbing down the fucking game. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What? You, you... You're that much of uh, uh, hungry to fucking uh, uh, sell out and to become some bitches to some whining little fucks on the forums that it, it, it just makes your little fucking mangina wet. You know what I'm saying? You fucking developers, grow some fucking gonads, grow some balls. You know, you fucking make a game, stick to what you're making. It's your fucking game. If they don't fucking, you know, once you got all the bugs out of this shit, you don't fucking patch it to death. You don't patch the patch to patch the patch, the patch to patch. Don't fucking go the route of SOCOM and shit like that. Uh, Zipper got fucking disbanded because of all their bullshit. You know, fucking learn. We're not going to, I'm not going to buy fucking Battlefield 3. Fuck you. I'd rather fuck with uh, um, Danger Close because in, in the last Medal of Honor... The story mode was the great part, and the online was the shitty part. And Dice created the online part of that game. So what I'm he- what I'm seeing from Battlefield Three is y'all don't know how to fucking make up your minds. And then in Medal of Honor, you're fucking real sketchy, and you want to beta test shit and have us. It's like Battlefield Three is the fucking beta for Battlefield Four, and then fucking uh uh. Y'all hampered Medal of Honor for making a fucking good game in, in, in the Medal of Honor game. And hopefully the new Medal of Honor is good. Danger Close developed the whole game. Naughty Dog, you should really fucking be ashamed of yourself. Uh, um, I remember the summer the summer beta for Uncharted 3 was awesome. Didn't need to be fucked with. Me a couple tweaks here and there. But then fucking the Subway Challenge beta and shit. That shit was awful. And then fucking all the patches and reiterations of your patches and shit like that. Fucking awful. And everybody knows Uncharted 2 before the 1. Point, what is it, the 1.4 patch or the 1.5 patch was great. And then you fucking put out that patch and it was like fucking donkey shit. And then you you know you had to patch the patch again. Um, uh, Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon just failed. Suffers from fucking uh, once in a blue moon I get mic issues now. Um... And that's good that they fix pretty much the mic issues. But their connection issues, you don't have 20 motherfucker, 20,000 motherfuckers in between all the platforms online playing the shit. Everybody fucking abandoned the fucking game. And even with 20,000, not even 20,000 people, I go online all the time and I'll fucking pull it up and I put it behind here on the green screen. You can see these numbers. Um, they don't even have a, in a total of 20,000 motherfuckers playing the game Yet you can't get a stable connection. What the fuck? Really? You know how many fucking ports I got open for this game? This game has opened over 20 ports. I don't have no... I got the fucking connection DMZ. What the fuck is your issue? Anyways, I'm ranting. I'm raving right now because I like these games. And the developers are what's hampering these games. Them going to the forum... Getting all fucking butt hurt about these little crybabies, fucking dweebs in their fucking mama's basement, playing their games 
and fucking getting owned by people that got skills. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a sniper, but I get sniped a lot. And I don't bitch about getting sniped a lot. All I do is go get the sniper. I don't say, oh, you need to underpower this gun. You need this power. This gun's too powerful. The, the, the range is too long on it. The accuracy is too good. No, I just go get the fucking sniper. I fucking own his ass. And then I teabag his bitch ass and talk shit to him, even though he can't hear me. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's my vengeance. Vengeance is getting my gun game up. Getting my fucking thought process up and going and schooling these motherfuckers with pure skill and all the unadulterated fungasms. That's all I wanted to say, man. You know, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you see that we need to tell these developers how it is. And if I ever was to get an interview with any of these developers, that's what I would tell them. I'm telling them, how the fuck are you going to fix your problems that you have with this game? What the fuck are you going to do to get it right? What are the steps you're going to take to not let this happen no more? Because you're fucking it up. You are fucking it up. We don't make the game. We just play the game. And the real gamers know what the fuck I'm talking about. These crybaby ass little fucking keyboard warriors and all these little fucking trolls and shit. Like these fucking garbage ass dumbed down fucking water infested games. Fucking got you, got you running around with your fucking, you up to your fucking thighs and, and, and water because it's so fucking watered down and shit. You know what I'm talking about. So, you know, put this video, spread it around, uh, uh, tell other people that make videos like this about this video. Let's, let's have this discussion. Let's have this forum. Go to my website, www.multiplatgametrap.com. Tell me what you think. Tell me what's going on. Let, 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 let this start some fucking thing, you know what I'm saying, some type of a movement where these developers understand we don't want no fucking watered down game. We want a game that takes pure skill. I went and I was playing some Killzone 3 last night with some randoms and they all had mics. And let me tell you something, that game was beast. That game was beast. Because everybody had mics. Everybody knew, you know, what the fuck was going on. Uh, the only things that I seen that they did change on that game was they made the, um, the not the movement, but the, uh, the gun accuracy, you know, just the aiming a, a lot faster, a lot tighter than what it used to be from uh, Killzone 2 or even Killzone 3 um, earlier before these, this latest patch. And um, I actually liked it before. But, uh, you know, to each his own. Um, but, you know, they've got games coming up, man. Uh, uh, I know a lot of people play Call of Duty, and I've seen a lot of gameplay of that. Um, I don't know if it was from GameScon or anything like that. I've seen a lot of uh, gameplay of the multiplayer, and it basically looks the same. I mean, it's still got the same issues. I, I didn't see them fix any of the things they needed to fix. And the same thing, you know what I'm saying? That's why... Hey, look, man, I just start boycotting companies and stop fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? It's just doesn't take me. No, I, I save money and I don't play games I don't fucking like. And it, that's just going to get me aggravated. And uh, props to my boy, Broken Games HD. He broke his pe he broke his Uncharted 3 game, and I commend him for that. Um, I understand your frustration, my dude. And, you know, niggas out there is just like, uh, they don't understand that shit because they some crybaby-ass bitches. So... You know, don't don't worry about them haters. They ain't got no real fucking skills. They ain't really got no gun game. And I'm I'm a average gamer at best. You understand what I'm saying? I just think good tactically and have and, and work on the fly good and have good communication. And that's where I excel at. I don't. I'm not a good. You know what I'm saying? I don't aim the best. I'm not the best with the du the dual analog sticks. Um, I'm not even the best with uh, point and click with the mouse. You know what I'm saying? But I work on my strong points and I try to work on my weak points and get them developed to a place where at least I have an average game when it comes to the things that I'm uh, I, I, that are my weak points. And then my my strong points, I make them my super strong points. And that's just basically what I wanted to talk about. I had some games up here showing, you know, discussing what I was talking about. And it's just like... Um, 
you might have seen things where um, I just shot and it was a whole bunch of hit markers and the fucking, you know, the gun didn't, I mean, the dude didn't die and then fucking either meleeed me or did something. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's happened to you plenty of times. I went into a game yesterday, as a matter of fact, on Ghost Recon and this dude was talking on the mic and he was like, lag switch and lag switch. And I was like, dude, not everything's a fucking lag switch. The game runs P2P, which is a uh, peer-to-peer network. And it doesn't have like, you know, uh, you know, uh, servers, uh, it has servers for getting everybody connected and everything like that, but they don't have dedicated servers. Um, and all he was saying, oh, this dude's lag switching, lag switching, lag switching. I was like, bitch, what? Everybody lag switching? Your fucking mother's, if she played the game, she'd be lag switching. Nigga, are you lag switching? Um, am I fucking lag switching? What the fuck? Everybody fucking lag switching. You know, the bitches like that. They think that fucking just stupid ass shit got no fucking common sense. Gamers out there, hardcore gamers, core gamers out there, use your fucking common sense when you play the game and think about what the fuck you're saying and think about what you're writing in them fucking forums to complain about to the developers and shit. Maybe you just need to get your fucking game on and get your skill level up there. You need to increase what you're doing on the motherfucking game and stop fucking whining like a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? I've been your host, your commentator, Freddy Fuego, Flamin' Hot Entertainment, MultiplayGameTrap.com, The People's Voice, and your favorite average gamer. Remember to catch all my links for my social media are in the description down below. Um, the last two videos got two links in the description where it just says my last two videos. So if you want to watch those, um, peace, love, and hair grease. Haters keep on hating. If you haven't been doing it, you need to get gaming.